Welcome to the UNB Certification Program. The topic of this video is Easy Wall Introduction and Configuration. This course can enable you to get to know Easy Wall Introduction and have a good command of Easy Wall Configuration. Let's get started. First of all, what is Easy Wall? Easy Wall client software is mainly used in small scale display and control device centered systems to manage encoding devices and operate video walls. To download EasyWall software, we can access Univue's display website, www.unvdisplay.com. Here we can click Support. Then click the Download Center icon. We can find it in Maintenance Tools part. Now download it. Now we have EasyWall software already. To log into the EasyWall interface, type the username and password. Once we select Save Password, the client software automatically fills in the current username and password at your next login. And Auto Login allows the client software to log in with the current account automatically at the next startup. This is the EasyWall homepage. On the top left corner, we can see the menu icon. Click it. There are some options. The first one is to lock the client software, we need to enter the password to log in again. The second one is to switch user or server. What's more, client configuration gives us an option to set auto login and stream type. The user manual is also available here for your reference. You can also check other information such as version information and software license by clicking about EasyWall icon. Click the last one to log out. As well, we can do the similar operations by clicking on the icons in the upper right corner, such as lock the software, switch the user, etc. Before we go through with the rest of the operations, let's have a look at the device management. This is Device Management Panel. We'll start with adding devices for management. Auto Search is to search devices and add in batches under the same subnet. Add is to add a device with known IP address. Now we click the Auto Search icon. All the devices on the same network with our PC will be shown here. And device information such as IP address, port, device type, model, device ID, and serial number are also displayed. If the device has a default password or has been added to EasyWall before, then it will get online automatically. Otherwise, we will need to enter the correct password. IP segment search are also supported, enter the start and end IP addresses, we can search devices in this way. Or we can delete the selected device. Also, we can see the online and offline status of a device under status. On the right of each device, click the first icon to modify device name, etc. For more parameter settings, we can access its web page from here. And the last one is to edit the device name. Now, we're going to talk about the video wall function, including video wall settings and screen toolbar. Users can create and manage video walls here and videos can be displayed on multiple physical displays, such as LCDs, LEDs, or monitors with this function. This is the video wall interface, we can do the video wall settings here. Enter a video wall name in the field. And we can choose the number of split screen, horizontally and vertically. Here we will display with four screens in two rows, set two times two as an example. Under these parameters, we're able to select the checkbox for small pixel pitch LED and complete the settings correctly if small pixel pitch LED screens are used. Then, choose a resolution. What's more, AutoBind channel is enabled by default, therefore, decoding channels will be bound automatically to video wall screens when creating a new video wall. On the bottom left corner, we can find two icons, Unbind All and Bind All. Bind is to link a decoding channel to a screen, and video signals are decoded by a decoding channel and output to a screen. Whilst unbind is to cancel the link. Now we have already created a video wall. 
click the corresponding icons if we want to edit or delete the video wall. Next is Screen Toolbar. The first icon is to save the current scene for further use. The second one, Audio Management. We can choose to play an audio. Window Management gives us an option to create a new window by inputting its coordinates, window width and height. There are many ways to open windows. We can choose from these default window layouts or customize one. Here we set it 2 times 2. In addition, here is another option to create a new window. We can drag an IPC to the video wall to open a window, camera info is displayed on the computer screen, and live video starts on the video wall. Thirdly, hold the right-clicking mouse, then drag it on the video wall, we can open a window. Besides, if the window size and position need to be precise, setting coordinates is better. Click here and set the position and size. The X and Y coordinates determine the position of the window's top left corner. Both width and height are measured in pixels. In fact, we can also adjust the position and size of a created window if it is not locked. For example, place the mouse on a window border, when the mouse changes shape, we can drag it to resize the window. Or click the edit button on the top right corner to adjust the position and size. Besides, this is to close all the windows. The next is to lock position and shape of all windows. There will be a lock icon on the top right corner of each window. Click the next button to unlock it. The following two are to start or stop decoding of all windows on the physical displays. The last one is to renumber all windows according to their positions. From top to bottom, from left to right. The window numbers are displayed on each window's top left corner. As we can see, the numbers are changed. Now, we are going to talk about Window Toolbar and Virtual LED. This toolbar is for the window we selected. For current window, we can split it into smaller windows. Here we select 2 times 2. Now the current window has been split into 4 smaller windows. Then start or stop decoding. This is to set audio output. When we select a window and click this button, the window will be placed on the top of all windows. Click the other one, the window will be set to the bottom. The next one is to lock the arrangement of current window. The last one is to maximize the window on the display. Click playback to pop up the playback window, on which we can search recordings and play them on the screen. Please notice that only IPCs managed by NVR can be searched. Select a date from this calendar. And then click start to play. The recording will be shown here. We can drag this timeline to view the recording from specific time. Now we close this window. If we want to display a scrolling slogan such as welcome on the big screen, click virtual LED. Right click the mouse and drag to open a virtual LED window. The slogan will be scrolled here. Here in the content field, we can edit the text that will be shown on the screen. Set a scrolling mode and other settings. Then, the scrolling slogan and videos will be shown on the screen. Place the mouse on the border of the background. When the cursor changes shape, drag to resize the background. Now we're going to talk about group management, sequence resource, scene, and scene sequence. EasyWall creates default groups based on the device type. For NVR, each NVR is a group, and the group name is the device name of the NVR. For IPC, all IPCs form a group, and the group name is IPC. All signal sources form a group, and the group name is Signal Source. The custom group feature allows us to assign IPCs to different groups. We can assign IPCs under one NVR to different groups or assign IPCs under different NVRs to the same group. Besides, it supports assigning one IPC to multiple groups as well. Now we are going to show you how to add a group.
click this button. Click Add Group. Type the name. Then assign IPCs to this group. The selected IPCs are added to the group. We can rename or delete the group or IPCs. Now the new group appears in the organization tree. If you want to display a group of videos in one window, click Sequence Resource tab, and then create a sequence. Type a name in the field. Select video channels as needed. Then click this arrow button, selected cameras will be listed on the right side. We can adjust the sequence by clicking these up and down buttons. And then set sequence interval. Click OK to apply the settings. Then drag this sequence to a window of this layout. This window will show video sequence that we just set on the video wall. Now we click to save the changes. Then we'll demonstrate scene and scene sequence. Scene represents the video wall settings, including screen layout, videos, or video sequence. It allows us to quickly reopen the saved scenes. Setting scene sequence allows us to display different scenes in a sequence with a specified interval. Under Scene tab, we can find the scene we just saved. We can also create a new scene. Input a name in the field. Select a window layout. Drag cameras to these windows. And save it as scene 2. Now we've got two scenes. These scenes will be presented in a sequence on the screen one by one. The steps are quite similar to creating a sequence resource. Enter a name. Select scenes. And set interval to 30 seconds. In summary, in this course, we've talked about the Easy Wall introduction, show some Easy Wall configurations. That's all for Easy Wall introduction and configuration. Thanks for watching. See you next time.